Hello, and welcome to the second video of the GastroPlus 9.7 tutorial phase two. In this video, I will show you how to set up the metabolic clearance using in vitro data. Here, in GastroPlus interface, you can see that my clearance is equal to zero and I don't have any clearance in any tissues right there. We want to use in vitro parameters to set up the clearance. And for these drugs, we have the VMAX and the KM for the CYP3A4 enzyme. So let's use this information and enter this information in GastroPlus. To enter this information, you can click on the enzyme table. And we need to define which enzyme are we talking about. So in our case, the CYP3A4 and the location. We have two locations to set up in this particular case because first, the PPK that concern all of the PPK tissues including the liver and also the gut tissues. You can see that I have another option, which is the liver. If you select the liver, it, this information will only be used for a compartmental model, not a PPK model. So I will stay with those two uh, settings and two locations for my enzyme. So now I just told the software, I have the cyp 3 f 4 in the PPK and in the gut. You can see that my Vmax and my KM parameters are there. And you could either do the calculation manually or, and enter them. But we have this unit converter tool. This unit converter, which corresponds to the metabolism and transporter modules in GastroPlus, does much more than what we will do. You could convert intrinsic clearance, half-life, but you can also use it for transporter, VMAX, and KM, etc. For our enzyme, we have the KM and VMAX parameters, and now you have to define a few aspects. Your in vitro assay, the in vitro fraction unbound. In our case, we have an unbound KM and microsomes. So we, we're not going to change those. The VMAX that we obtained was 0.85 nanomoles per minute per milligrams of proteins. You could select the units and change the units if you have any other units coming from your assay. The KM, which is expressed in micromolar or micromoles per liter, is 3.7. So now you can see that the metabolism transporter modules have calculated for you the in vivo VMAX and the in vivo KM unbound. And to transfer those information into the enzyme table, simply click on the transfer 3 4 KM and VMAX into the enzyme table. You can click on close and save. So at this stage, if I go back to the PPK uh, summary table, there is still no clearance information entered here. And that's normal because the enzyme information will be scaled based on the tissue volume and the amount of enzyme in each tissue to obtain, to calculate the clearance, the specific clearance. So if I click on edit PPK and I look at the liver tissue, you can see that you have multiple tabs that define the basic information, but also the enzyme information within that tissue. And you can see that we have enzyme information for multiple enzyme, including the 3A4, for which we know the expression level and the CV percent. So let's cancel that. 
one last clearance that I want to set up is my kidney clearance. Although we know it's very minor for the midazolam, we still want to keep it in the software or to account for it in the software. You can simply select the mechanism you want. So either FUP times GFR, it could be the GFR alone, it could be a fraction of the kidney blood flow or others that allows you to simply enter a value for the kidney clearance. We will use FUP times GFR, which correspond to a clearance, a renal clearance of 0 0.325 liters per hour. And let's save that. Now I can close. You can see that now that I've changed my kidney clearance, it appears here and here. So I have some kidney clearance accounted for here, but I also have my clearance accounted for the enzyme, the 3FO, and all of the tissues where the 3FO is present will play a role into the clearance process of my drug. Let's launch a simulation and see how the model performs. Let's launch the simulation and see how the model performs. So as I'm launching the simulation, same as before, the model calculates for me the AUC and the Cmax, and you can compare those values with the observed information. For the Cmax, as always for the IV data, it's difficult to compare because of the time of sampling. But you can see that for the AUC, with the PPK model, we are predicting relatively well the AUC 0 to 12 hours and the AUC 0 to infinity. We look at the graph and the plot. Within Semilog, you see the model is doing a reasonable job at describing the observed data. The take home message of this video are that the metabolism and transporter module can translate metabolic in vitro measurement into in vivo parameters. And these will drive the simulation in GastroPlus. Also, and that's very interesting, using only in vitro physical chemical properties that were used to estimate the volume distribution, so the PK, the log D, the FUP, and the blood to plasma ratio, or BP, and also in vitro parameters for the clearance, Vmax and KM, we could predict the observed clinical data following midazolam IV administration in human. So now that we have validated that our model can describe our drug distribution and elimination, we can focus on the all administration and all absorption. For more information, please visit our website or send us an email. Thank you very much, and I will see you in the next videos.